alphabet morning. Uh, in this form, I'm going to show you uh, how we can submit this contact form to Google Sheet, Google Spreadsheet. So we have we have a spreadsheet here. Hold on. Now all the forms field are automatically submitted down here, and you will get an alert as well when a form is being filled. You get uh, so, so, so person has submitted a form. Uh, you actually uh, information was edited uh, recently. A successful information. So first of all, uh, we have on our website. Why I'm doing this? We are testing a code on GitHub, and GitHub do not permit PHP code to run. Although you can save it, but it will not run. So we have this. We have contact us. We have first name, last name email address message and uh, your shit code here so you want to first thing you want to do you want to go to your google form and create exact same form with the same field so i had went ahead i want to believe you can create a google form it's simple to do so i'm not going to waste your time creating one together so i have already created a form which I have first name, last name, email address, message, and this grading sheet code which matches exactly the information here. So uh, you will go ahead and fill one of the form. When you fill one form, you would have one response. So the first thing you click this and it will prompt you uh, you want to create a sheet a new sheet from this field and when you do that you create uh, it will automatically take you to where you create a new sheet and you name your sheet accordingly so that uh, it will be a lot descriptive when you are looking at your google drive okay uh, the next step would be to let the name fields match uh, the names on your form so because each of them has a unique name now uh, if you go like the first name if I undo inspect element uh, you look at name this is uh, the first name so you can go ahead and copy this name it has a unique name so if you look at my code, each of the unique name, I, I had gone ahead and do for first name, last name, email address. It's easy. So you repeat the same process. Last name, you have this. Right click on email, inspect, and it takes you there. You have the unique field for message. You do same. You have the unique field for grading sheet. Uh, you do same it has the unique name so when you are done with that you make sure each of them has their own unique name that matches that of your Google spreadsheet so I have all set up here and the last thing you do on the form is to get uh, the form action so you click on this uh, if you click on this Inspect element. Where are you? So let's click outside. So here is my form action. So you take this form action. Method is post. So you want to do the same thing here. The form action. You add it here and set your method post. Now, since I'm using a website, I said the target should be blank so that uh, after filling the form, it doesn't override my form. So if I have something like uh, Woodwork, last name, I say an email address, I say info, I push that concept for the power code of this license. Uh, grading sheet I have maybe one two three four so when you submit
so it doesn't override your page it takes it to a different page anyway uh, and if you go to your google sheet you should have it here for the purpose of this lesson okay that's basically how you can connect your sheet so you can also set notifications rule uh, from here notifications and, uh, sorry under tools you have enable uh, your notification rules you can set uh, edit you said notify me when a user submits a form uh, when should it notify you email me straight away and you save this so I think that's basically uh, how you can do this that's pretty much all of it thank you